Good morning, class. Did you say good morning, Mrs. Prussia, out of habit? Maybe you did. Let's say our verse together. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Deuteronomy 7, 9. I hope you had a wonderful Easter weekend. We had a great weekend here. We were at home, um, cooked a simple meal. We had a ham and I did some mac and cheese in my Instant Pot and uh, had a salad. We didn't make a dessert because there was tons of Easter candy. We did an Easter egg hunt inside the house uh, while it rained. That was fun and crazy. Um, Hopefully you got to enjoy some time. We also watched uh, the Jesus movie. It was uh, free and live. At, it was on so you could watch it yesterday for free. Um, it wasn't live, it was a recorded, but it was a recorded of a live presentation. It was really awesome. I hope you got to see that. Or just spend some time with your family. Maybe you watch something else to think about the importance of that day. Wanted to let you see the chicks this morning and then we'll talk about what we're doing this week in math and English. So we've got all 11 here. They have hatched and they are doing very, very well. They're jumping around, enjoying their outside time. My girls are out here enjoying them too right now. They've got their food and their water set up. Um, it's proven true, the ones that are darker, the little black and white ones, some of them have yellow on them. Oh, do you see, it's going after my ring. They're always curious. They're saying, what's that? What's that shiny thing? It's a <laughs> ring I got from my grandmother. Uh, it's a family heirloom. But the little black and white ones are more spunky than the other ones. This one right here with the blue mohawk, we've put blue paint on him so we'll remember. I hope it's a she actually. Um, we've named this one Early Bird. Come here Early Bird. Oh, he's spunky. He hatched two days earlier so we'll be talking a lot about Early Bird. Um, very spunky. He'll jump. Oh. <laughs> he's always ready to go. The little yellow ones are sweet and laid back. They're very content to be held. Can you, this is Snowflake. This is Felicity's. And she's put a little blue purple mohawk so she can remember which one is Snowflake. My favorite one, let's see, is right here. I like its little face. This is Starla. Kind of looks like a penguin. Josh in my class said it looks like a penguin. But I named her Starla. She was born during the supermoon when we had the night that was really really bright and she was the second one that was born all right starla we're gonna let you down now all of these chickens don't have a name yet so i want you to be thinking of a really good name because later this week you're going to get the opportunity to write a story about the chickens and then uh, submit a name and then we'll be picking a name out of the bowl for um for you guys to name so we're gonna have one name from mrs precious class my class and one name from mrs baloo's class so uh, you'll all get the chance to put a name in a hat. Math and English this week, if you have not logged on to Flipgrid yet, I want you to go in, oh, I stepped on Ginger. I want you to go in and um, log into Flipgrid. There are some fun assignments on there. Do the fraction brain dump. That's where you make a video of yourself just talking about fractions. Tell me everything that you know about fractions in there. These assignments are not graded yet, but they will be in a little bit, so we wanna make sure everybody's able to use it. It's an app where you get to record videos, quickly upload straight there. So we wanna see if, if everybody's able to get in. A couple of you have not done, um, actually about half of you, have not done your big, big ideas assignment from Thursday. You will find that now under week three, done, if you need to go back, or you can just log into Big Ideas, your site, and do your assignment. It'll be up there for two more days, today and tomorrow, I believe. I'm not sure if you, um, aren't able to log in, if you cannot see the assignment, or if you just missed doing it. Um, but this will be the way that I kind of want to use for testing um, so that we can count the semester uh, strong. We're working hard on getting our fractions. I'm going to be meeting with some of you later today um, and this week, and we'll talk about that. I'm going to send out an email later. Um, continue on with your English working on those adjectives. If you have any questions at all, your parents can email me. You can, um, if we need to video chat, we can do that. I am here. I am sitting at my computer for most of the time, sometimes walking around, but I am available from about eight to one o'clock. I'm definitely making sure I'm on. And then until three o'clock, I'm, I'm turning off at three so that I can um, do other things like just 
run around my yard and play with my kids a little bit. Let me know if you need anything, um, and we will chat again soon. Bye, guys.